Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Rexford here, and welcome back to another game tutorial, and today we're going to be doing a requested tutorial on how to make sprites follow the view. So, at first you guys might be saying, what the heck, what do you mean, Rex, what's, what's going on here? So, I'll tell you what I mean in just a minute. So, you see this really weird setup here, obviously. Now, in this weird setup, I have a view also set up or created or whatever uh, you prefer it now what's gonna go down right is we are going to basically have this sprite here this little green sprite appear when we press spacebar instead of like create the sprite itself it's uh, it's kind of the um, the same idea I suppose and um, what's gonna happen is once it appears right it's going to be able to follow our player along with the view right here is just kind of this red uh, thing right here it's just kind of like a halfway mark just so we know that we're actually moving instead of this plain gray background but if you don't understand what's going on right now don't worry this is a request tutorial anyway it's kinda I guess at least he'll probably know what's going on um, but you know you guys can stick around and maybe at the end you know you might learn something maybe it's something that you want to do so um, don't worry um, this will be a quick tutorial and uh, that's I guess all I can say about that <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started so as you can see here I have two sprites um, a green sprite as well as a white sprite these are both 32 by 32 as well and it doesn't really matter what sprite you have you can create any dimension of sprite any sprite um, color I suppose you know any sprite in general and uh, this will work out now again this is just the halfway point thing so I can know that our player is actually moving and stuff and not just on this plain gray background and uh, we can also tell that this sprite appears moving as well so I already have these objects created for the sake of pacing in this video but don't worry I will explain everything in pretty good detail so you guys will be able to understand that now let's go ahead and head into our object that is going to be following the view first because that's probably what a lot of people um, that are watching this story are going to even want to get to in the first place so basically how this works is you want to go ahead and get add event create and go to the control panel click and drag over some code and um, basically I just typed in this variable here visible equals false that basically means as um, the game starts up um, this object here will not be seen all right now I went ahead and went add event and step and you want to go and click and drag over not some code but go into the main one tab or excuse me the uh, move tab and click and drag over the jump to position action now this right here is pretty much the pinnacle of how everything works. What you want to type in is view underscore x view for x and for y you want to type out view underscore y view. Now y view and x view keep in mind all in word and uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me what this is saying is when this object is created every step it's going to be jumping or otherwise kind of following along with our view that we've created in the game. Now, one more thing that we want to go ahead and make sure to do before I get into the player object here is you want to go ahead and create a room, obviously, and put both your player object, uh, excuse me, uh, your player object as well as the object that's going to be following um, everything into your room. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, it doesn't matter where you put it, um, anywhere is fine. And again, I just put these tiles right here for the halfway point. Now, what you want to go and do is in your views tab, make sure you have advanced mode on file and uh, do, 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 do advanced mode. If that's not checked, make sure it is. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, go ahead and click on the enable use of views as well as the visible when room starts. <clears throat> Ah, geez, there's like something in my throat today. I apologize for that. <laughs> and uh, go ahead and type out some angles for the view. Or not really angles, some dimensions for the view. I just went 300 for everything. And uh, make sure that the object following is your player, obviously. So your player, whenever he moves, the view will move kind of along with him. And I didn't really bother changing everything else. You can kind of change these two values as well if you want. But I prefer just kind of... I mean, this is just a tutorial, so I didn't really feel necessary to do that. Alright, so now let's go my uh, player object. Nothing really too spectacular here. Just some simple, simple moving uh, methods that you guys should never do because these are really horrible moving methods. This is a tutorial, so, you know, I just wanted to get some done quick and make sure that it all works out fine just to uh, make sure the tutorial works out. Now, what you want to do is you want to go add event, key press, and space. Now, this is what's going to be used to make our uh, object here appear. And you want to go control, uh, click and drag over some code, and type out object zero or whatever the heck your object's uh, name is it's going to be appearing and dot visible equals true this basically means as soon as you press space uh, it's going to locate our object zero and locate its variable uh, visible and turn it on to true 
Alright, so let's go ahead and run our game. I'm going to go and switch to a separate window really quick, show you guys a better view of this, and yeah, we'll go ahead and see how this all works. Alright, so we're back, and as you can see, we have our little object here, a little player object, and when we move along, just kind of move around, our view moves and such, and when we press spacebar, boop, there's our little object right there, little sprite object, and when we move in the view, you'll notice it follows along with us. Now, you'll also notice that it has a little bit of kind of a, uh, not necessarily a drawback, what's the word? A, um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, it basically, when it moves, it kind of goes off, kind of veers off to the side a little bit. And the only reason for that is because the way we're doing it, it's jumping to the position. So it doesn't necessarily have a lot of time to update as frequently. But I think for now, this should do pretty well. And I've actually used this back in my old uh, Blocks Project game. So, you know, it works very well there as well. And, you know, it does, in some cases, it does blend in very nicely. So, that, guys, is how to make uh, or create sprites, I suppose, and uh, make them follow the view. And, again, this works. I believe this works for, like, objects, too. You can just create an object and uh, in the room or whatever. Maybe if you press spacebar, it will go instance create a random object. And you just set it up like I did today like I showed you guys how to do um, in this tutorial, and it should work fine. So, this has been Rex Furry. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to uh, comment, rate, and subscribe if you guys feel like it. And, uh, wait, I guess I actually just said that. But, nonetheless, guys, this has been Rex Furry, and uh, I will see you all next time.